What's going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo and welcome to Moonlighter, a super cool sounding indie that I've been wanting to check out for a while. It was supposed to hit Switch uh, day and date with other platforms, but that didn't happen. It's coming at a later date, but I know how that goes sometimes. I've been waiting for Hollow Knight to come at a later date uh, for ever, and there's no release date. Not to say that they can't hit it with Moonlighter, and maybe they will, but I'm going to play on PC first, and if it's good and glorious, then I'll just double dip on Switch. So, we're going to jump in and see what this game is all about. Apparently, you are a shopkeeper who moonlights as a dungeon diver, so it's like Link meets Target. Among the stars of the night, there is a land as old as imagination. It's pretty old. One night, mazes full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appear in this land. Deadly creatures is a very good Wii game. They call them the dungeons, strange, ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. That's a pretty, pretty apropos name, guys. You're pretty, pretty smart. Soon a village of the slightly curious took root near the dungeons. This they named Rhinoka or Rhinoka. Among the settlers, two groups shine brightest: heroes and merchants, glory and riches. But the dungeons proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the oldest shop, Will of Moonlighter. Long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons, he became Kanye West and decided to fuse rap and clothing and become the greatest artiste of our time. No, but dude, I applaud this guy. The dungeons were too hard for the heroes, and he is going to tackle it? Like, that's that's bravery. That's extreme bravery, and I'm pretty freaking pumped to see what this game plays like, because it looks gorgeous. It is a pixel art that I give a powerful thumbs up to, because look at all the detail, right? All right, so I'm playing the controller plugged into my lovely computer here. Um, I have attacks and stuff, but it doesn't want to let me do anything. Hey, it's going to teach us stuff. We can roll. We can roll. Roll as you go. Oh, roll the gaps. Reminds me of uh, Enter the Gungeon. One of my favorite Switch games. Uh, I can roll through that guy. That's cute. Roll through bullets. I imagine that this guy's 100 health probably doesn't go very good, right? Like, I'd imagine like he's kind of, he's kind of, I mean... Is he young with white hair or is he old with gray hair? It's not entirely clear. And we're going to sweep these guys back. That's very cool. I like that we're sweeping. Hey. Hey. Okay. It's like, uh, you got to be very accurate with your sweeps here. Collecting some goodies from my shop. Sweeping the goodies and sweeping the snot. All right. Okay. This one is like what? Oh, a charge attack? Ooh, I like... Whoa. Okay. So it can still damage you. But that's pretty nifty. Um, open the chest. Inside you'll find a broken sword hilt. And, uh, some... What the heck? Some foundry rests. Alright. In chest number two, we will find hardened steel and some more foundry rests. Alright, cool. Gather our goods so we can eventually sell them. Oh, dang. Whoa. Yep. Whoa, okay. Okay. Um, I'm not... Okay, maybe if we... Can I, like... Holy cow. I think they're just gonna... I think this is supposed to kill me. I think this is one of those things where they're like, Please die for us. We want you to die. Yeah, there's no way this is gonna work. Okay. Gosh, I just wanna stab you. Yeah, okay, thanks. I lose all my stuff. I cry and I huff. I return to town. A broken... McFluff. Okay, maybe I'm not that old. This guy has a freaking magic staff, so he's probably old. Yeah, he's got the he's got the bottom hair. I've got the top hair. We're just like inverted heads. Xenon says, uh, I grew up really weirdly after my Disney Channel original movie. Um, I'm sorry if I'm not as cute as I used to be. What a sorry looking kid. All alone now. Rest for a bit. Will, I have you now. Will. Is that, is that my name? Will? Do I not have to get to pick my name? Or my guy's Will of Merchants or whatever? Welcome home. You now live with Xenon. Even as a mere child, barely able to walk, you were curious of the dungeons. 
yet drew these maps and stuff. There is no doubt, you carry the same obsession as old Pete. Who is Pete? Morning, boy. Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? Will, listen to me. The hard truth is this. You are the last of your family. The only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on the fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts, then use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for Crater's sake, stop using that broom of yours, you daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have little need for it now. All right. A shield and a dagger. Hopefully that can deal more damage. Now then, get up. You're wasting light. Can't even neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get you through your heart. Blah. Let's see if I can get through your head some of the... Let's see if I can get through your hard head some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather. So, oh gosh. So many, yeah, dude, that's many years ago. I hope you remember them. It was hard enough to read these lines. I don't know how you're going to actually teach me stuff. All right. So now we got a sword and shield. It's a little bit better. Um, successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know an item's value as well as its demand. Come now, open the shop up and allow the customers in. Okay. Welcome to the first day of Moonlighter, where this guy comes in and wants to buy a Pikachu mask. Nope, he's looking at, uh, would you like to buy my fine crystal, lady? Oh, she's very much about that crystal. Yes. Did you see that? Best expression you can hope for. The item wasn't too expensive for them, and not so cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customer's expressions. That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. Alright, I'm guessing this guy's gonna get grumpy on me now. You're gonna be pissed off? You're gonna be worried? You're gonna be upset? 200? Mmm... Ah, oh, too much money. I don't think I need to tell you how that I have them was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned. All right. Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood, the, oh gosh, this is intense. If you flood the market, you'll have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. Point is, charge higher when something is in high demand and in low supply. Take out your merchant notebook. Show all the info you've gathered on discovered wares and artifacts. All right. So our little merchant notebook is over here. Crystallized energy. It was good at 100. 200 was too much. All right. Cool. Would seem the sun, the sun is already down? Goodness gracious, this is a rough town. There's like three minutes of sunlight. All right, restoring this shop to its full glory, that responsibility falls to you, not I. It's in your blood, Will, make us proud. I already have a Disney career to look back on and reflect happily. You need to make a name for yourself. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword of yours? Dungeons are more perilous at night, but one can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far and use that pendant boy. Yes, indeed. Go on, now these weary bones of mine must rest. Okay, so to the dungeon we head. Well, that guy sleeps, apparently, in the middle of the road. I got this nice uh, sword shield action going on, feeling more like Link by the moment. Did we, yo, no? What? Desert dungeon, only for heroes, aw. Tech dungeon, no entry. Forest dungeon. Not record. They got no faith in me, yo. Golem dungeon. Oh, dude. They're like, yo. This one, we're fine eating some merchants down here. We don't mind that kind of meat. It's not as uh, rare and tender as the stuff from the heroes, but uh, we'll bite off a little bit of you. All right. So we got a nice golem dungeon here. A little map. A little bit of uh, awesomeness. I don't have my stinking broom. I don't have my charge attack anymore. I don't have a charge attack on the sword. It's just like real basic. Man, these guys have to get real close for you to hit them. That is a little worrisome. I wish that the combat allowed me to like have more range, but maybe I'll be able to acquire an item that will uh, grant me the range that I desire. Hey. Hey. I'm moonlighting, and I'm making you pay. Those crystals are money. And I know that is what the old man would say. All right, in we go, away we go. What is this? Oh, this is one of these things. Let's destroy that first, and then we can work on this guy. These guys aren't putting up much of a fight. Feeling pretty good about stuff. Oh, that vanished. It'll be okay though. A lot of little slimes here. Knock them back, knock them back, knock them back real good. So we do have a pendant apparently that we can use to uh, vacate the dungeon if things get too spooky. 
spooky or too scary. This says, To a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. I took injury from the strange creature across the room. My pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out, though. I'd say I fared better than he. He caught me spying on him near the Guardian's room. He dropped a couple of items. One is which this map diagram, whatever it is, I was right. They called me crazy. Send old Crazy Pete down. They Oh, this is Crazy Pete. I found him dead. That's miserable. But I was right. Each guardian of a dungeon must possess a key of sorts. All of them linked to that giant locked door outside the dungeons. The fifth door of Rinoka. Sadly, I won't be able to open around to open, see the door open. To whoever found me, I apologize for the smell. But the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please open the fifth door. These dungeons are not what they seem. All right. We got five little sticks. And uh, big boss gonna kill me. I suppose to let them all out. Now if it chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Ah, Big Boss gonna be so upset. Those are the four keys and the big door that we need to unlock that fifth level. Alright, cool. Um, circle. What? Oh. I guess circle is the way I get back. Like, gather stuff and then get out of here is basically what they're trying to say. Damn, it's forcing me. Okay. Magic pendant, do your worst. Goo me up and send me back home. All right, so we killed a bunch of guys. Uh, we got some good stuff. And we get to go to town. That was a forced uh, retreat. Otherwise, I was like, I was jonesing for more. But we're spit out. Not booed off stage, though. We're welcome back to the stage. Ah, the young proprietor of Moonlighter has returned. You look intact. Finally learned to use that pendant properly. It's about time, boy. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where'd you get this? You, f you found old Pete? Dead. See, this is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it well. Just get the artifacts you need from the Golem Dungeon and look after Moonlighter. Now, I noticed some posts on the town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in. Attempt to revitalize this town. Apparently, they need some startup capital first. Will be nice to see some new life in Renoka. Nice indeed. Yes, indeed. Student must listen to little baby as well. Alright, Xeon is out. The town board is here. There's a few people coming in. Like this girl. I'm way faster than her, but hey. Uh, may not be as prosperous, but many still visit to pick up a souvenir from the Golem Dungeon. The town board says, investments. Do you feel the dungeons are too hard? Tired of your old weapon? Oh, Vulcan's... F okay, so this is sweet. So we're going to bring in new shops that not only help the town but they also give me more stuff to buy and then i can buy shop upgrades for myself sick trick nasty okay i gotta go back to moonlighter and sell some stuff we gotta get going um let's put uh i, I don't know really the value of stuff i guess we just learn and figure it out um well this water sphere is decently rare so, I don't know how much that should cost, though. Mm, I don't know. What do we try it at? Do you really have to click this a hundred times? Um, we'll try it at, I don't know, 80. Cool. Um, I'll put another crystal down here. 100. Oh, you can do it this way. This is nice. Okay, 100. And then let's all... Oh, we got another crystal. That's good. Sell all that jibber-jabber. All right, cool. Uh, is it open for business? It's open for business. Cool. I can only sell four things right now. Uh, but hopefully this grandma is happy to buy a crystal. Nice. I could, I could try 150, I guess. Um, can I, can I do that? We don't know anything about the prices of these things at all, right? Interesting. Um, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try selling this one at 150 and just see how receptive they are. What's your expression, yo? Not too much, okay. All right, all right, all right. I got you. I am not, uh, not unwilling to change to meet the demands of the customers. Oh, that guy's very happy for the water sphere. I don't know if 80 is too cheap. 80 is okay, but we're going to sell all this stuff. We're cashing in big time, dumping those crystals, and making the monies. 
Beautiful. Uh, hold on, hold on. Wait. Um, would you like um, an iron bar? I don't know. I can sell that to you for 50. And I can also sell you some... All this stuff. Oh, the iron bar seems kind of crappy. Um, let's instead sell these glass lenses for... 75? Is that reasonable to you? It's a broken glass lens, but I don't know how much money... It, like, they're pretty cavalier to spend 100, so it must not be that much, right? Are you here to shop or are you warming up? I can't tell. You're just leaving. Nothing that you want. Okay. Oh, wow. He's... They're like... The glass lens must be a bargain. Okay, that you don't want my freaking... Fine. I don't want to sell my iron bar either. It stinks. Um... I guess the glass lenses I kind of goofed on. They're too cheap. At 75. But, um... Okay. You, can you... Granny? Okay. Time to close the shop. It's, it's over. The day is done. Alright. Pretty good. I feel pretty good about that. A lot of money. We made a, quite a bit of cashola. And now we get to take our talents back to the dungeon. This is kind of a cool little uh, mix of... Like the... The, what do you call it? Like the flow, the, the gameplay loops are pretty cute and pretty cool. I kind of wish there was a teleport to the dungeon, but maybe we can get that. I wonder like how much progress we need to make to really start putting the pieces together. All right, but I kind of like how we just get to like build and build and build. Wow. You stink. You suck. You suck. No, please stop. Ow. How are you going to do me like that? Um... I don't really... That stuff seems like junk, but okay. This book says, Today marks my first steps into these mysterious dungeons. They were discovered not far from Renoka, a small and incredibly charming village just north of the crater. And may have quite a unique occurrence. Any number of adventurers may enter a dungeon at once, but no one will venture together. Huh. And you need a maze for each person. Never so they're randomly generated. One must ask though, if no one is currently inside the dungeon, does it even exist? Tree falling, forest, all that. Okay. Um What? Where do these dungeons come from? Why do they constantly shift? Why are they filled with this? I'm here for the how and the why. Alright. Is there anything inside of your little hut? Probably not. Probably just nothing. Just a little bit of flavor text there. Alright, so things do not respawn. We've learned that. Whoa! Evil chest, man! Ah! Uh, pop a potion. Pop a potion. I'm sweating. That guy has a really nice jump. Holy crap. Holy crap! Stop! I got it. Goodness gracious. Luckily, he rewarded me with multiple potions, because that was painful, man. Holy cow. Hopefully you gave me some good stuff. What did I get from you? Nothing re Oh, what is this? A rune tool? I'm guessing that's gonna be kind of valuable. Because cheese oh pizza. I also got a lens that I know is expensive. Holy guacamole, though. Doggy? Whoa, okay, that's not good. Ow. Maybe I should try blocking. I never really tried blocking. That almost fell off. I don't know if you saw that, but... Almost dropped in the Mysterious Beyond. I'm just going to keep popping these potions. I know it's a little dangerous to take them all, but... Meh. Alright. Woo. Healing Springs. I love you. And this note says, Why? Why do our tools keep disappearing? Chambers full of precious stone are left untouched. But rooms and chests holding our most basic tools keep vanishing. Interesting. Stuff is vanishing. How much can I block? Oh, pretty well. You can block pretty well. If you actually block it, it works pretty well. I like that. Alright. Ooh, wow. Don't don't absorb me like that. I didn't know these guys are like Pokemon. They have multiple attacks. That's, oh, God. 
Hey! That door looks very spooky. Mmm, definitely gonna go towards it. Or is it like a boss? I'm like super freaking nervous about that. All sorts of stuff, man. I'm full up. Um, let's dump the broken sword. Can I dump it? Is that not a thing you can do? Can I drop from here? There doesn't seem to be like a dump mechanic. Unless I'm just being silly. The magic pool will heal me. Alright, I do a lot of good stuff, but I really want to see what's behind that magic door. Let's go. It's like ooze and green goose. It's gonna be a boss, isn't it? Yep. Freak! Or is it floor two? It's floor two, okay. Why is everything locked? What does this say? This is one of the strange devices that creature dropped when he fled. This one's rich, actually. Almost quite literally rich. For every enemy placed in this device, gold of some perceived value drops out. Mira. Um, okay, so you can just dump stuff in. Oh, hey. It's my mechanic that lets me freaking dump stuff. Remember we were just talking about that? What are the odds? Okay, yep. Throw your crap in and it's gonna give you gold. Just what we need. Okay, cool. So, um, buh bye buh bye I have my branches. Can I grab the whole stack? Yeah. Like these vines and junk, I don't need that. Teeth stone, don't need you. Don't need you. What is this equal sign for? Oh. Cool. Alright. We got a lot of moolah. Whoa! Oh! No. Holy cow. Yikes, okay. Golly goodness. I'm gonna get this guy. Ah, he does a lot of damage. He's dead! You're dead to me! Give me back all my stuff. Give me back my goodies. Give me back my gumdrops. I thought I could grab these swords, but apparently I cannot. Alright, cool, Leo. Oh, dang, that looks nasty. Level 2 enemies. Not as happy as level 1 enemies. This guy's like basically a, a flying drone. It's kind of cool. Made good quick work of him and his friends. The block is like... Uh, is the block like... Unstoppable? Ooh, old golem minion design. Destroys one item in direction shown upon returning to town. That's very interesting. Okay, well, we're gonna put nothing there. It's so weird. Um, dump this stuff, dump the branches. Dump just here. Gold runes. I hate that they all destroy one item. That's not cool. Um. Goodbye. Let's go into the shop. That's fine. What does the golem volume do? I don't know. Alright. That was intense. That's intense, man. A lot of stuff that's just working against me. Okay, we got- Oh, no! We'll not stand for this. Okay. Again, I don't- 
Like, yeah, I'm wasting the potions, but I'm just, you can exit this as, 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 ooh, wow. That was like a suicide bot, okay. I see you. Um, this one says, so, I was attacked by a moving rock today. Can you imagine a rock that moves? I did what any sensible person would do. And smacked it right back. It shattered upon the ground, leaving behind a heartstone, a core as we have come to call it. It's one of the many unique treasures that can only be found in this dungeon. Drop by a guard unique to only this dungeon. I have to say, each of these dungeons have a very particular environment. A culture all its own. Cool. They have culture. I'm begging and pleading for that culture. I want to know what it's like. Um, alright. What the heck? Did not mean to fall into that pit and lose a couple health. Let's head this way, explore something new. That guy looks nasty as all heck. How do I... He just needs to be... It seems like many of these enemies just need to be killed quickly, you know? Like, that's kind of what works best. Gold runes that destroy stuff there. Can I, can I just put them here? Okay, whatever. Destroy my iron bars. I don't even care. Sure, what is this? Items remain hidden while currently in the dungeon. Okay. Um, hold on. Let's... I really don't think this whetstone is really that useful, so we'll dump that. I'm also going to dump this. It's going to get trashed anyways. Um. Don't want it. Okay, I guess for now that's okay. Oh my god. Wait, stop! How are you hitting me? Okay, I'm totally out of uh, health, and I have a weird... Okay. Rock boy. I need more attacks, like, pronto. It's not gonna work till I keep only having one attack. How do I... Okay, that guy's dead, finally. Okay. You gotta knock it unconscious and then smack it! Alright, give me the- It didn't drop its thing! What a bad, bad, bad donkey. Alright, I'm real low on health. But I didn't open this chest- Oh, I did. I did, I did, I did. Alright, um, looks like the only way to go is down here. If it's a battle, I, I will lose. No, I mean, not, I won't. Whoa! Yeah, I'm, I'm bailing. I like that you can bail even mid-combat. That's pretty cute. Pretty cool. I like that. Alright, we got a lot of stuff. Whew. I unlocked the second floor of the Golem Dungeon. And I made my way uh, to a lot of cool items and hopefully a lot of profits. What's weird is we don't know how much things cost, so like... Um, gold runes create wonderful patterns. I have no idea what they're going to cost. You just kind of have to like guess and then you see like, oh, people are... Not impressed the price. Like, the glass lens at 75, people are like, holy crap! Alright, so here we go. Um... These designs, golem designs. I don't know. Let's try charging, what, 300 for it? And old golem, golem mini designs, 250? I don't know. Mm, a rune tool. What do you think a rune tool is worth? 200? You know what? I'm going to... I'm actually going to go 500 for this, just to see what people say, because I, I might be completely undervaluing all this stuff. I don't know. And then in here I have my lens. 
which I know 75 they were like geeked about. So let's charge 175 and see how that works. All right, I got a lot of really expensive cool stuff. I hope you guys like it. It's very pricey. I'm not sure what you're going to think. Dang it. Okay, that works. My rune tool is way too cheap. 175 is too much for the glass, I guess. All right, so we'll go like 100 and 125. Let's see. And then this rune tool was like way too much at 200 or way too little. So let's charge 3 350 and see what you think. You guys want to buy my glass lens at 120? Oh, this old golem mini, old golem design at 500. Wow, apparently that's way too cheap. Can it? I, I want it back. I don't think there's any way to like refuse the sale. So, whatevs. I am making a lot of coin though. So, oh my god, even though these, with, I'm way too cheap here, my my friends. All right, found a good price for that. We're still learning our lesson here. Um, let's see, I can place... People were pleased with these at 350. Let's see if I can take it to 400. We got some people in the shop, so let's just see what we can do. You guys want to buy those? There's some pretty cool plans for some golem minions if you want to... I don't know, build a minion of your own. Okay, you're still happy with it. So... Are you still up with it at 500? Because we're looking to get some upgrades. We're looking to get some more shops in town. Oh, you're still happy with it at 500. Dang, we can keep going upwards. This is such a really cool mechanic where you have to like kind of try and figure it out. All right, do I have anything else that you might be interested in? Oh, gold runes. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Let's go with 300 on these and see what you think. And then I also have the water sphere. That was 80. Can I go? Can I get 150 out of you for it? Um, I also have a golem core. I'm gonna put this at 800. I don't know. It might be way too much, but let's see. It's getting to be nighttime, or maybe it's the middle of the night. I don't know. But I'm looking to make some coin. Sad there. Happy. Okay. Um... Would I put that at 400? I don't know, something like that? Too much? Too much for my core? Too much. What did I sell this for? 300. Okay. Hold up. Um, let's go 400 there and let's go 600 there. Let's see what you think. 400 still too much remember i don't want to flood the market remember that like there's an important like market flooding mechanic if i don't want to sell too much the same thing 600 for my core uh, okay what do you guys think I'm trying to get to 4,000 coins by the end of the night or the end of the day Cool. Nice. Selling that to you for 300 and you're happy. Again, we don't want to like flood the market. Can it, will it show me about flooding the market? I don't know. It doesn't show me like how many I've sold or anything. All right. You guys want to buy these last few items? Would you like the wet, the water stone? Yep, there we go. Good. All right. Help me get to my 4,000. Almost there. I guess we'll close shop for the day. Hey, the day is over. We sold well. 13 customers, no robbers. Apparently, there's apparently robbers are a thing that can come through. That's not that good. All right, let's go here. All right. Vulcan's Forge, just yes, please. I'm investing in you. You're only 500, so get over here, Vulcan man. Build your shop. 
Give me some better weapons. Maybe even something range. That would be a huge hope. Alright, coolie. Coolie, 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 oh. Music is really nice. Um, yep. Come. You're only 500. I gotta welcome you to my town. This guy helps me craft it. And she's gonna help me create it. And we're just doing the best we can. Alright. Cool. And then, I think my upgrades were like thousands of dollars, so. Let's talk to this dude. What's up, Andre? Hey, you must be Will. No, the one requesting my forge? My name is Andre, Forge Master Extraordinaire. If it's weapons or armor, you seek a Vulcan's forge is the place. Fabric, bandana, iron helmet, steel helmet. Swords and shields. Big swords. Spears. Gloves. There's that bow that I want, baby. So I gotta get more junk, basically. Cool. Alright, that's pretty fun. I like that. And then this uh, chicklet over here says... Eris. Oh, a customer. My apologies. It's just this book is so good. Okay, yes, I'm Eris. Weaver and Potion Master. Welcome to the Wooden Hat. I've got some potions for you. Bigger and bigger potions, recipes, reveals the map, guide to the next door, cool, cool, and then her enchantments are, well, I have nothing to enchant. Wow, so it's a lot, a lot of stats here, that's pretty sweet. So this game is very freaking cool, there's a lot here, obviously we're going to open more and more shops, we're going to dive deeper into the dungeons, we're going to improve our gear and improve our... Uh, time in the dungeons because we're going to get farther and further. The only thing I wish differently about Moonlighter was that the combat is a little bit more satisfying. It's not a hundred, you know, like you play like Wizard of Legend or you play Enter the Gungeon or you play Dead Cells and the combat just feels so right. It's almost there, but not quite. Like I wish the weapons had a little more range and I wish they were a little more responsive. But other than that, this game seems super freaking cool. It's available now on PC, PS4, Xbox One. Like I said, it's coming to Switch, which is where I think it will find its happiest home. Hopefully that hits soon. We've got E3. Maybe they'll even reveal a launch date around that time. But it's a very cool game. And uh, like I said, I think it's such a great concept of like mixing the, the selling and sort of that like sim aspect with the, the dungeon dive. And I don't know how deep it goes or how far it goes or what the progression is like, but it seems super freaking cool. So hopefully you had fun checking this out with me. I think I am going to... Hmm. I have a decision to make. Do I play more now or do I not dive deeper into this save and wait for Switch? I'm not sure. I'll have to figure that out. In the meantime, though, everybody, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Drink so much. I'll put a link description, uh, in the description for the game if you want to check it out for yourself. And until next time, drink so much. Thanks again. I love you. And we'll see you all later.